Hey guys, it's Gigi. Welcome back to my channel and um, today's video is not a very, very happy topic for me. I'm super sad and I've been putting off this making this video for a really, really long time, almost eight months in fact. And for today's video, I'm wearing all black with a black smoky eye to symbolize the moving on of the animals from my YouTube channel. It feels very weird to be sitting here talking about Bella Princess again because it has been so long. I would show them on my YouTube channel all the time. They were always in the background. Even if the video wasn't about them, they would always be there. And since they haven't been around, a lot of you guys have been asking, what happened to all of your dogs? The truth is, I have since given all of the dogs away, and I'm gonna be getting into details and all of that later, but I just, have been so emotional about it and so sad about it and have been feeling a lot of guilt because obviously they were my responsibility. Four of the dogs were unplanned because they were Bella Princess's children, but she was actually raped at a pet hotel and that is a whole other story in itself. So I'm just gonna try to start from the beginning of the story and I'm really gonna try to not cry throughout this video because that is one of the reasons why I didn't make this video because I had felt so much guilt and I just felt super sad and embarrassed and just a lot of not nice things and I just didn't want to talk about it and I didn't want to act like it was real. So I just didn't really bring it up and I really apologize for that because I did really bring Bella and her puppies onto my YouTube channel and then I kind of just took them away, which is so not fair. But the first thing that had happened that made me kind of start thinking that maybe I wasn't the right parent for Bella and her puppies was when she had her puppies. I know I covered it on my YouTube channel, the whole pet hotel raping incident and the puppy's birth on Halloween and you know, all of that very crazy stuff, but, and exciting stuff. I mean, it was new life, it was her puppies and I loved them so much and she loved them so much and it was very exciting, but it really did take a huge toll on me and my life. You know, going from living by myself in an apartment, in a high-rise building, with one dog is enough. Then all of a sudden to have four new dogs that need a lot of attention, constant care, constant supervision, and once they get a little bit older, they need walks, they need food, like it's just a lot of responsibility. So I was just under a lot of stress. And I remember the first like couple weeks, it was just fine because you know, the puppies weren't moving and it was still exciting and I was like, you know, showing them off to my friends and it was just, there was just so much love in the house, but then, you know, time went on and the puppies started getting bigger and, you know, like running around. And my place in LA isn't huge. That's another thing. You know, these puppies were growing super, super fast. If anyone's ever raised a puppy from birth, you know, every new day after like a two week mark is insane. You know, it's just something different. One is walking, one is barking, one is biting, one is, you know, doing something different. And I had five to look after. So it was just so much work. It became my full-time job. I was told by the doctor that the puppies had to be with their mother for eight weeks, I believe. And I knew after that period of time that I would be giving them away, most of them away at least. Because if you guys remember, I really wanted to keep the runt of the litter whose name was Baby. And I could cry thinking about it because I love him so much. And he really was my favorite. He had just had the sweetest personality ever. And Anyways, that time ended up coming and I gave two away to friends of mine. So I was now left with the three puppies, Roddy, Baby, and Bella Princess. And I was weighing on me really, really heavy for about a month and I just was thinking, every night I would go to bed, I was just like, I feel so guilty. You know, these other dogs, their brother and sister, have amazing lives now. I love these puppies so much, I want them to have the best lives possible. You know, I would be working all day and I would be traveling and I would be putting them at the pet hotel or with friends or anything and I just felt like these puppies and Bella Princess deserved more in their lives. They needed families, they needed homes with backyards, they needed a lot more than I was giving them. So I felt it was honestly very selfish that I was holding on to them. So I unfortunately decided to give away Bella Princess and her two puppies because I couldn't fulfill all of their needs, honestly. Those dogs meant the world to me and I I'm a firm believer that animals are people just like us. So it was killing me that they were living beneath their value as living people. So I contacted the person that I got Bella Princess from and I ended up 
giving the dogs back and I am very very happy to say that all of them were given to very very loving homes I received pictures and videos and they're all in amazing loving homes with other dogs which I thought was super important because Bella Princess was alone a lot of the time which was a huge factor of my guilt and even though it was really really hard to say goodbye officially to them I bawled my eyes out when I dropped them off and I had to drive away puppyless it absolutely killed me you know and I felt really really depressed for a few days after that but it was knowing that I made the right decision and that that decision was made out of pure and honest love that made me kind of get over that depression because these dogs are living amazing lives and it really does speak to the quote when you love something let it go let it be free and I felt like I was so busy traveling and working and I was never here and there were days that would go by where I couldn't even walk Bella it was just super unfair to them and especially Bella because she was the mother of these puppies and for her I know she took so much pride in raising them and breastfeeding them and every single time I would go over to pick one up she would run over because she was just scared that something would happen to it she loved those puppies so much and I'm just really really happy that they're all in better places now and they're all living really super happy lives. And in honor of Bella passing, I gathered a few of her favorite things and I'm just finally going to be getting rid of these things because I've just been holding on to them because I miss her. Uh, the first being her travel luggage Louis Vuitton bag. It was her first time on a plane in this and I'll never forget how much she loved it. Whenever I would pull it down from the top shelf, she would hop right in and she knew that this was her safe place and this is why I've kept this for so long but I'm finally ready to let it go. I kept her pink little leash for her harness because you know small dogs you can't put collar on them you have to have a harness and this was her leash because she was a princess she loved baby pink so I held on to that too. This may be gross but I held on to a few of her little puppy pee pads obviously unused but it, they came in a package of like 500 and I just kept a couple because, I don't know, it reminded me of when my apartment was covered in them when I first got her. And of course, it wouldn't be Bella Princess without a few of her favorite outfits. So I kept just a few, none really in particular. This one says cute as fuck because she was cute as fuck. This one says I love diamonds because she did love diamonds. So yes. I will finally be getting rid of those things today. I've been holding on to those for far too long and I still sometimes get really, really sad when I look at it. It just brings back so many memories and it brings me back to the time where I first gave them away and this apartment, the whole vibe was so dull because she wasn't here. and her presence was missing and it just made me really really sad for a really long time and I would like to end this video with a montage of pictures and videos of Bella Princess we shared so many great moments together and a lot of them were photographed and filmed so I just wanted to share with you guys how beautiful and special Bella Princess and her puppies were to me and how grateful I was to spend the time I did with them they truly were a blessing in my life and I hope you guys enjoy so until I see you guys next time stay gorgeous